do as you're told. People used social media not just to share, but to actually learn and then take collaborative action. And of course, what we've seen in the last nine months is this epidemic of people using social learning to take action. And I started to reflect on my situation um, and I realised that whether it was, it was in school or whether it was in real life practice um, outside of school, at home, I would do what it was that I was told. And if I didn't do what it was that I was told, I would either rebel against it or fight against it. Many of our thoughts, beliefs and opinions were shaped in our formative years. And we invariably take helpful and unhelpful lessons learnt from the family home into our school, our university, um, friendships, relationships and the workplace. Next up we have Stephen Downs. This is the era that spawned, you know, all kinds of market research. Let's go out and find out what customers need but don't recognise that they need. And then we'll go and tell them what they need. Do as you're told. In 1988, I think it started something. I'm not saying that there wasn't any protest before that, but the very visible protest by the indigenous members of this country in sort of saying that this was not a celebration day, this is invasion day, certainly stirred things up. I've spent 17 years working in prisons, and I have to tell you that every day I go in, I learn something. I'm a better human being. And I understand what courage is for standing up. You can see what happened to unemployment and inflation when they hit. Unemployment skyrockets, inflation goes down to deflation in America until the huge rescues started to occur there. So to me, the lessons from these three crises is we don't do what we're told, we do what we like. So thanks so much, everybody.